Finger Board Friday. Today, I will be taking all this garbage that I would otherwise just throw out, or in my case, recycle. But I will be turning all of this into a fingerboard skate park. That's right, your boy Canadian David Jones is gonna make a skate park out of all this. You guys really like me saying that, so <laughs> I will just say it, I guess. I said it once kind of as a joke, but now I kind of have to say it. But that is right, we will be making this into a skate park. I have no plan, but that's the best plan. So we have lots of cardboard here today and a couple plastic things. But basically, I will take, say, a cereal box, cut it up, make a half pipe, make a quarter pipe. I have really no idea what I'm going to do, but that is the point of this video. I will see if I can make an epic skate park out of all this. So I will be using three things to assemble all this. Black tape, scissors, and hot glue gun that is not hot yet. So I guess all we need to do now is start making this. I'm gonna put this box in place here so we can kind of have like just a nice tall ledge that we can do stuff on. So at this point, I'm just gonna tape off these end pieces and then glue this in place. That definitely will you please try. There we go. I could have just used the scissors, but I'm not gonna do that. So for this, I am just lightly going to glue this to my table and it'll come off later. But now we can just place that in place, like so. And within a few seconds, it'll be glued down. A few moments later. I do not think this side stuck because the box is shaped very strangely. All right, just need to try that again. <laughs> Now, if we hold this down for a few seconds, now it should work. So for the next part, kind of what I'm thinking is I will take a box like this, cut the cardboard away from it so we just have that nice thin pliable cardboard, I guess. And then I will pretty much just tape it down here and then we'll have like a quarter pipe. We can maybe go onto the box, do some stuff off. So that is my plan. This is not sponsored by Good Thins. I just really like these, they're very good. If you find them in a store, get them because they are very good. Actually, I might do it over here. I'm gonna use this very small piece of cardboard and make just like a very steep little coiter pipe because people seem to like those. You can get them on Black River, but I will be making mine out of cardboard. But basically, I will just put it up there. It'll be like completely vert. But I think I'll do it here so I can actually kind of do stuff along there. So now I will take this bigger box, this is just a standard cereal box, and I will now do the exact same thing only over here. I guess I could have just taken this apart and then it would have cut a little bit better, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, even though I just did that. Whatever, I'll just continue cutting. And to be honest, this stuff is actually a pretty good material. You could even use this for projects like a half pipe, like what we did with kite stock, because this is very flexible, it is very strong, and works very well. And also, when you're done making your pike, it already has graffiti on it. You don't even need to do anything to this.
So after working on this for just under half an hour, this has come a long ways. This was very easy to make and I'm excited to skate it. But something I will just add over here because this area is a little bit empty. I will put the spine that we made because the materials are very similar to a lot of the stuff that you see here. So I'll just put it there as something else. I'm just gonna glue it down in place with my wireless hot glue gun. We have just enough heat to glue it in place. And perfect. So at this point, we only need to do one more thing, and that is to skate it. So there you go. I just made an entire fingerboard skate park out of a bunch of garbage. And I almost guarantee after this video, you will probably do this. This is very easy, very fun, and very effective to do because honestly, most people do not have a fingerboard skate park. I know I do have a giant cement fingerboard skate park, which is awesome, but you can do this and still have a lot of fun. And you also don't spend three weeks of very hard work working on it having to take out sections to then redo. Yeah, you won't need to do any of that. You can just do this. My favorite spot probably on this whole thing are all these ramps up to here, because you can do a lot of combinations from all these onto here and back down. All you need is just a craft dinner box. Even though this isn't Kraft in a brand, but I think everybody still calls it that, even if it's not Kraft in a brand. Because who doesn't like mac and cheese as a ledge? Awesome. Also, cardboard, especially cereal box cardboard, is very smooth. Like, compared to our table, it's quite a bit quieter and feels a lot better on the fingers. So that's today's Fingerboard Friday video, making a giant skate park out of a bunch of cardboard. So, the end of Fingerboard Friday. Subscribe if you are new because we post Fingerboard videos every Friday and oftentimes on Wednesday as well. So hit the subscribe button right down there. It's red if you are not subscribed. It is gray or like white if you are subscribed. One of those colors. And if you want to hit the subscribe button in a different spot, hit the subscribe button over there. One video up there and another one down there. And all social media links are in the description below and I will see you in my next video.